Hey guys, got another video for you guys today. Uh, it's a little bit later than I was planning on doing it. Uh, I actually caught COVID after uh, the last video. I tested positive the day after. So um, I've been in isolation for seven days now, but I've tested um, negative the last two days, so I'm back out of it. So I can finally crack on with this video. Uh, and that is going to be, I'll probably put it in the title, so might as well say it. We are installing these. So this is a uh, Barbarian Racing silicon hose kit for the Freelander. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my parents' house to do it, just get a bit more room there than I do on the, the little driveway here. So I can head over there, we're going to install those, and hopefully we're going to get a few benefits, because I think the current hoses are a bit knackered. Let's get and do it. Okay guys, so uh, I'm at my top secret location where I work on my cars. Uh, I just want to say off the bat, this is actually another sponsored video. Um, so, Barbarian Racing, I don't know if you can... Uh, uh, they've been very kind, and they've sent me out a silicon hose kit for the Freelander. Um, so it's a complete kit, so it's, I think it's integral to turbo air intake, etc. Uh, it's still all wrapped up at the moment, um, but it's a nice blue silicon hose kit. I will leave a link in, it, uh, in the description below this as well for this one. Uh, but I've been really looking forward to this. Like I said, I've been isolating the past week, uh, but it's been going well. I've been sort of chatting to them on and off since sort of last year, so um, it's been sort of a long time in the coming. This one, um, I think it's definitely going to be uh, really worth it. I think it's probably one of the best things you can do to an older vehicle. You know, the holes that the hoses are going to be wearing out, things like that. Um, you're going to probably have holes, etc. So these are going to last a lot longer. They're going to look smarter. They're going to do a better job. They're not going to compress under pressure, etc. Anyway, near as much as it's like an older, softer rubber one would. So there's so many benefits to getting these on there. Um, so I just wanted to say, you know, a huge thank you to them for that. For that. Uh, I can't wait to get them on there. So let's get cracking and get them on the car. So just before I start, I always mock up everything, make sure they kind of go where they go the right sort of shape, size, etc. Make sure all the diameters are the same. Not that I doubt these guys in any way, but it's always worth double checking these things. Um, but yeah, we've got everything there. You've got the one there, you've got the one that goes in there, one that comes down into there, got one on the top there, and one down in here. So these ones are going to be replacing today. Um, like I say, I am very happy with the quality of these. They are nice, firm, silicon, decent. So let's go on and install them. Okay, so the first one we're doing is this one. It's just a simple screw on this one. I mean, I, I have replaced the clips on these ones. Um, but again, it was like that on all the previous ones anyway. So it's literally just a screwdriver. You can get a nut over there. Um, I've just got the screwdriver to hand. It's a case of it screwing it until it's loose. And again, the same on this one. And then what you want to do is you want to throw your screwdriver right down into the engine bay. There you go. So that's nice and loose now. So that should fall off of there. That should come off of there. Let's do that a tiny bit more. Just try and get it over that lip. There we go. All good in one hand. This is a bit of a tougher pipe than the originals. Ta-da! That is one off. Um, okay, so here's my nice new one. Uh, I put the clamps on. Oh, uh, wait for the van to go by. So I put the clamps on there already, only loose. Um, but yeah, that's the new one. They're ready to go on with these clamps as well. If you compare them to the old ones, you'll notice they're quite a bit thicker. That is good. A, it doesn't put so much stress on a small space when you're tightening it up. B, they perfectly fit in this groove. So you'll notice when you take the pipe off, there's some groove. Perfectly fits in there. So I take that one off just quickly. Oh, it's looking sticky. Nicely sits in there, so when you tighten it up, it's going to be nicely in that groove. So, how am I doing this? So he's going to go on. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way to get to him? I reckon probably around the back, actually. And then him there, him there. So it's worthwhile monitoring where these are going to go, because they're going to tighten it. You don't want these in an obscure direction, you know, either tucked in underneath here or these ones, if it's facing out into here, it's going to be awkward to get underneath. So I've got that one towards the back and that one facing outwards. So it's going to be where the most sort of space is. Let's get on there first. Let's get you a bit more 
central, a bit more central. Oops, I didn't get on there. The manhandling, and he is on. So that's them on. Like I say, I've stuck him out the back there, easiest place to get to it, and him just on there. Again, it's going to be the easiest place to get to them. They're nicely level all the way around, so it's just going to be a case of tightening them up. Okay, so the uh, little nuts on these are 12 mil. So now, right, so that's him on, nice and secure. Lovely, look at that. Right, so now on with the next ones. Okay, so the next one's going to be this EGR one. So he's going to go down in there like that. Be interesting to see how much gunk is in there after uh, doing the change, seeing if anything's built back up through or how much it's cleaned out. So yeah, let's get this one off. Oh, let me just tighten there. Okay, so there is some gunk in there. It's considerably less than before. It's also a lot runnier than before. So I think it is kind of clearing itself out. Um, inside the EGR is pretty darn clean as well. Let me get this camera off. So there it is. You can see it's considerably cleaner than it was before. So that is definitely showing that that is doing its work. Obviously, we had the carbon clean as well. So I am pretty glad with that. As I say, got a little bit at the bottom there, but again, it's a lot runnier than before. So I think that's just general sort of spillover. So yeah, very happy with that. Okay, so that one's actually easier to fit <coughs> without the uh, clasps on it because they were stopping the bend in the middle from flexing in to come out so that one's easier to just put on as is and then you're going to undo the clamps being very careful not to fire this off of it and then not to fire the cap off of it either because that little cap there holds this bit together and stops the thread sort of coming out so you will very carefully undo this without firing that off there you go, almost did it then there you go and that will come out separate <clears throat> so yeah make sure you keep those two bits and then this will just come apart through there, and then that you can just wrap around. Okay, so all these, one of them is so you know, you're not going to up too tight. Um, it is only going onto plastic on most of this, um, so you don't want to make sure you're crushing it. These are quite strong, thick um, clamps, so you know it will feel relatively light, but it will be squeezing down pretty hard on this. I mean, that is solid as a rock on there, and there's not really much tension on there. And I'm only using a little socket, so yeah, it's just it's sort of being wary that you know it is going to be pretty tight. And it's not going to feel massively to, like there's a lot of tension there so it's just something to watch out for whilst you're doing it okay so now we're on to this one here it's going to be slightly more awkward because i mean you've got the one there which is nice and easy but the next one is down underneath these pipes the easiest way to get to it is going to be coming in through this way so we've got the other pipe here coming in under here and there's a bit of, you'll see it's hard to get on the camera here but here you go there it is screwing it from there so the easiest way to do it is going to be coming in underneath this pipe um, and then again probably going to be the same when you're doing it up it's going to be coming in from the same angle but yeah it's going to be this pipe now
So I didn't have to undo them too much, just enough to be able to pull it off. Uh, yeah, that's that one out. Um, I've noticed there is some abrasion to the back there, so it's probably best to be replacing this one. Because yeah, he's got quite a bit of significant amount of abrasion there. Bit of gunk in there, but nothing too bad. So yeah, let's replace that one. So I decided whilst that was off, I might as well actually just do this one as well. Um, it's going to make it a little bit easier, so let's move this out of the way. Head back over there. And these are actually facing... Hmm, there's my phone. Backwards, for some reason. I would have had them maybe... Hmm, I suppose a bit off with a screw over that side, so... That makes sense. This is why you test these things, because let's say if it's that side, you hit the bulk bit there, bulk bit. Oh, he's horrible and gunky. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. That's dirty. Disgusting. Wow, he was gunked on there. Look at me. Alright, let's just have to rest in there. So that's that one off as well. It's not too bad inside, tiny little bits in there, but not too bad actually. Is it going down there? Yeah, that way or that way? I think that way, wait. Get in the hill. Oh, there's a shell firm there. Right. Ooh, all right. Try to get these nice and even. There we go. So you couldn't really tell, that one required a little bit more manhandling than the previous one. 
Uh, if you're wondering why my hands are suddenly so messy as well, uh, the bolt that goes in here, as you see, probably there's no bolt there anymore, the nut had come off the back of it, so it was loose. And as I took that pipe off, it got to go down into there. So I spent 10 minutes digging that out, which was hilarious fun. So yeah, I did change the angle on this one and I will show you after what I've done. It's a bit awkward with the camera in the way, but we'll get there. That's in pretty tight, I'll tighten them properly in a moment. So what I did on that one, uh, I don't know if you remember before, but the, the screw was sort of going directly that way. And I put it back in, facing horizontally again, facing that way, at the bottom of this hose. What I've done is I've twisted it and I've brought it around to this side and now facing up. So, you should be able to see it there, nicely facing up at us now, much easier to do up. So that's just a little bit easier for you guys. It stops you sort of having to figure that out. It sort of sits around that way now, and you can sort of see the top of the bolt here um, with that one there. So just figures out, just helps you out a little bit if you're fitting one of these yourself. It just makes it a little bit easier to do, to do it that way. Right, now just onto the last pipe. It's going to be this uh, bad boy right here. It goes in underneath there. And then sort of in next to the uh, sort of headlight unit. So let's get up cracking and changing that one over. As a note to anyone else, I'd probably, when you got this one off, do this one at that point. Because uh, that is awkward. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do actually then. Okay, so for whatever reason, he decided to put the thread this side, not just facing up. Never lasted this. So, that's a bit awkward. What might do? Okay, I've actually got the socket out for this one. Uh, it's a little 6mm, because that, that screw head was just a bit too awkward to get in there. So I'm just using this little 6mm socket to undo this one. Okay, so that one was pretty tight on there. Um, I ended up actually cutting it off. Um, so if you're going to do that one, I did also remove that EGR pipe again. Uh, get it on the camera. So I did take that EGR pipe off, um, and I was playing around with it for like 10-15 minutes, and I thought, well, I've got a new one. Cut it out. So I was cutting the end of having to cut that one out. It was. Even after cutting it, it was still pretty tight, so I think it somehow welded itself on there, but uh, that's off, so let's crack on and get the new one on there. Yeah, for now. Deep 
tight. Right. Hey guys, uh, it's actually been a couple of days now. Uh, I took a break once I'd fitted all of them and I lost the daylight a lot quicker than I thought. So they've been on there a couple of days now um, and I'm really liking it. Uh, they look really, really smart in that engine bay. So yeah, huge thank you to Barbarian Racing for sending those out for me. They, they are gonna make a big difference and I, I love the look of them on there. So uh, I'll drop a link for them uh, down below so you can sort of see what you think of them as well. Uh, I think personally they are definitely worth it, they're going to last a lot longer, they're going to maintain a lot of the benefits etc. So yeah, really good fun job, it only took me about two hours, but that included you know, setting up the camera and putting where I needed to, making sure I could work around it etc. Um, so yeah, not, not the longest job and it wasn't as bad as I thought, some of the pipes were a bit awkward to get onto um, and I think you probably could have done it a little bit differently, you could have just removed the whole top section off there, all the, all the pipe work etc and just done it from the bottom up. But you know, you, you live and you learn, so that's something you guys could take away from this video. Um, but other than that, yeah, really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again. So I'll put a couple of clips in at the end of the hoses now that they're all on there, and I'll see you guys again soon.